I just think that the like this specific project is really important just because I feel like there's a lot of ignorance um, that's kind of been brought out recently um, unfortunately so um, I just think like any um, like awareness is really important I'm, I'm really excited that they're doing this and especially right now um, like in the current political climate um, to kind of push that you know these refugees are, are human beings and that they they you know deserve to be treated like human beings to see what happens when um, natural disaster strikes or political strife or or ethnic hatreds to see the effects it has on real people's lives um, is very dramatic and very sad and you see it on the news but you don't really feel it you don't you don't know what it's like and as as um, small a it is it is to experience a few minutes of that um, you you definitely have that that sense it definitely takes you a little bit out of your comfort zone and a little bit into the shoes of the refugees the whole purpose of the exhibit is to try to get people to really understand what it might be like if you had to make these decisions, if you had to become a refugee yourself. They were really happy only to eat all the representative Well, I certainly feel we're very fortunate, you know, to be part of the world that have a really decent life. I mean, I know people have different opinion about this, about refugees, but, you know, it's sometimes you just think about what if that was you? I mean. We're lucky, but how about if you're not lucky and you become one of those people and what do you want the world to treat you? So I think it's very important for people to see this. It's, a, it's a very important for, for um, us living here to understand uh, what refugees are going through uh, all over the world. I understand people from po different political sides of the debate can uh, have different opinions about, about what we should be doing but um, even those on the side that uh, want to do less should, should know and understand what it means to be a refugee. And that's why I would absolutely agree everybody should, should spend the 45 minutes and take a walk through.